there are two mechanisms of calling methods in java one is call by value and one is call by reference in call by value we directly pass the value and in call by reference we pass the reference or address of the value okay so in today's video we will see what is call by value and call by reference so all the doubt will be cleared after watching this video see there are two copies of parameters stored in different memory locations when you we use call by value one is original copy and other is function copy so if you make any changes in the function in that copy that is not going to affect the original value in call by reference actually the reference of the value is shared so that's why the memory location is same in that case what happens if you make any changes to the former parameter it is going to affect the actual parameter also so we are going to have a program and let's see let's create a class named value and uh, as the name suggests of the class value we will uh, create a program based on call by value so i have created a class here with the name value and then i'm going to create a instance variable uh, named data where i will put uh, some default value for it 10 i have given now we'll create a method the return type of method is a void because it's not going to return anything and then the method name i have given here update then it will accept an integer argument and uh, int a now we are writing data equal to data plus a it means the value of the data is updated and uh, because the previous value of data plus the value of a will be stored in data okay this is the task of this method to update the value of data now uh, we will close this method after closing the method we will create main function and after the creation of main function i'll create an object of the class because this method is also an instance method update method method is an instance method so we will create an object of the class value so i have created value v1 is equal to new value so object is created now what we are going to do uh, we will call the above method before calling it i want to print the value of data be, uh, before calling so we will simply write here we'll use the println method of system class and uh, we'll simply write that before change okay so we have simply written before change and then after uh, we'll just call the uh, variable directly so we can we will put here concatenation symbol and the uh, uh, object is what v1 so we'll write here v1 dot data okay so what is the value of data before calling the update method and then after what we will do we will call the update method so we'll simply call here v1 dot update and uh, we can simply pass a value inside that okay because it is asking a value so uh, we can simply provide any value so i have provided here 200 now what will happen this 200 when you use call by value what happens the value like 200 is passed so 200 is an argument so the copy of 200 is passed to a okay so now uh, after change v1 dot data let's compile and let's check it so when you compile it what you find before change it was 10 now after adding it it became 210 so this was a simple example of call by value now we will see an example of call by reference we will simply create a class with the name ref and uh, same process double click on the class and write the code class name is ref let's create the uh, instance variable once again with the name data and i have given the value here 20 void update now we have to see what see in the place of passing a primitive value will pass the, uh, the object so the class name is reference so i have created the r1 the object r1 which is of ref type the class type now r1 dot data r1 dot data is equal to r1 dot data and plus uh, 50 i have written here 50 means the value okay and now the method is closed here now we can simply do what we'll create a main function after the creation of main function what we will do we will again create the object of the class okay so i uh, will create the object like uh, class name is ref so it will be what ref and the object name i will just keep r1 only r1 new we will print the value be, uh, r1 dot data before change and then we will print it after that r1 dot update r1 okay see you can see here in the place of passing the value we are passing the reference it means that 
the value of data is getting affected the value of data will be updated because the memory location is same so now we are going to close it and uh, we will run and uh, we'll check it void main and uh, what do you find before it was 20 now it is 70 so basically what we are saying here a method that accept a value as an argument that acts as an accessor and a method that accept a reference of the value that acts as a mutator okay so we have two different um, classes and two different methods one act as a mutator and one act as a accessor 